Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 231. G-protein linked and second messengers. Name all the sympathetic G-protein linked receptors that act through a second messenger. The sympathetic G-protein linked receptors that act through second messengers includes alpha-1, alpha-2, beta-1, and beta-2 receptors. Name some of the parasympathetic G-protein linked receptors that act through second messengers. The parasympathetic G-protein linked receptors that act through second messengers include muscarinic 1, muscarinic 2, and muscarinic 3. Name all the dopamine receptors that are G-protein linked and act through second messengers. The dopamine receptors that are G-protein linked and act through second messengers includes dopamine 1 and dopamine 2 receptors. Name all the histamine receptors that are G-protein linked and act through second messengers. The histamine receptors include histamine 1 and histamine 2. Name all the vasopressin receptors that are G-protein linked and act through second messengers. The G-protein linked vasopressin receptors that act through second messengers is V1 and V2 receptors. What is the G-protein class of alpha-1 receptors? The G-protein class of alpha-1 receptors is GQ. What are all the effects of alpha-1 stimulation? When alpha-1 receptors are stimulated, this causes increase in vascular smooth muscle contraction, increase in pupillary dilator muscle contraction, which is medriasis, and it leads to an increase in intestinal and bladder sphincter muscle contraction. What is the G-protein class of alpha-2 receptors? The G-protein class of alpha-2 receptors is GI. What are the effects of alpha-2 receptor stimulation? The effects of alpha-2 receptor stimulation is to decrease sympathetic outflow, and this is done via the negative feedback mechanism. Alpha-2 receptor stimulation also decreases insulin release, decreases lipolysis, and increase in platelet aggregation. What G-protein class is beta-1 receptors? Beta-1 receptors are of the GS class. What are the effects of beta-1 receptor stimulation? The effects of beta-1 receptor stimulation is to increase heart rate, increase contractility, increase renin release, and increase in lipolysis. What is the G-protein class of beta-2 receptors? The G-protein class of beta-2 receptors is GS class. What are the effects of beta-2 receptor stimulation? The effects of beta-2 receptor stimulation is to cause vasodilation, bronchodilation, increase in heart rate, Increase in contractility, increases lipolysis, increased insulin release, decreases the uterine tone, and that's why these drugs can be used for tocolysis, and tocolysis just means to suppress premature labor. Beta-2 receptor stimulation also leads to ciliary muscle relaxation and increase in aqueous humor production. What is the G-protein class of muscarinic 1 receptors? The G-protein class of muscarinic 1 receptor is of the GQ class. Where are the M1 receptors found? M1 receptors are found in the CNS and the enteric nervous system. What is the G-protein class of muscarinic 2 receptors? The G-protein class of muscarinic 2 receptors is of the GI class. What are the effects of M2 receptor stimulation? The effects of M2 receptor stimulation is to decrease heart rate and contractility of the atria. And the reason for this is because these receptors are found in the nodal tissues. What is the G-protein class of M3 receptors? The G-protein class of M3 receptors is of the GQ class. What are the effects of M3 receptor stimulation? The effects of M3 receptor stimulation is to cause smooth muscle contraction, and this would lead to increase in exocrine gland secretion and the lacrimal and the gastric acid. There is also increase in gut peristalsis, also increase in bladder contraction, bronchoconstriction, increase in pupillary sphincter muscle contractions, which is meiosis, and these will also cause ciliary muscle contraction, which is accommodation. What is the G-protein class of dopamine 1 receptors? The G-protein class of dopamine 1 receptors is of the GS. What are the effects of dopamine 1 receptor stimulation? Dopamine 1 receptor stimulation relaxes the renal vascular smooth muscles. What is the G-protein class of dopamine 2 receptors? The G-protein class of dopamine 2 receptors is of the GI class. What are the effects of dopamine 2 receptor stimulation? The effects of dopamine 2 receptor stimulation is to modulate transmitter release, especially in the brain. What is the G-protein class of histamine 1 receptors? The G-protein class of histamine 1 receptors are of the GQ class. What are the effects of histamine 1 receptor stimulation? The effects of histamine 1 receptor stimulation is to increase nasal and bronchial mucus production, 
H1 receptor stimulation also causes contraction of bronchioles, pruritus, and pain. What is pruritus? Pruritus is the severe itching of the skin. What is the G-protein class of histamine 2 receptors? The G-protein class of histamine 2 receptors are of the GS class. What are the effects of histamine 2 receptor stimulation? The effects of histamine 2 receptor stimulation is to increase gastric acid secretion. What is the G-protein class of V1 receptors? The G-protein class of V1 receptors is of the GQ class. What are the effects of V1 receptor stimulation? The effects of V1 receptor stimulation is to increase vascular smooth muscle contraction. What is the G-protein class of V2 receptors? The G-protein class of V2 receptors is of the GS class. What are the effects of V2 receptor stimulation? The effects of V2 receptor stimulation is to increase water permeability and reabsorption in the collecting tubules of the kidney. So just remember, V2 is found in the two kidneys. What is the mnemonic to help you remember the G-protein class of all these receptors? The mnemonic, just remember, kiss and kick till you're sick of sex. So just remember, you're making this mnemonic just by using Q, I, and S. So kiss would be Q, I, S, S. Kick is Q, I, Q. Sick is S, I, Q. And sex is S, Q, S. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.